Hello again class and welcome back to Miss Bullock's Flipped Classroom. So today we're going to work on questioning for reading. So this would be questioning that we would do when we read as well as after we read. This is one of the skills that good readers employ all the time. So why should I question while I'm reading? Well, one, it's going to help you understand the text that you read, and it's going to help you comprehend it, so you actually know what's going on. Secondly, it makes you analyze the text, so you're not just going to get your light bulb where you know what's going on, but it's going to take that big piece and break it into smaller pieces that you can understand. And then on top of that, it leads to higher order thinking skills, so that means big brain power, dun dun dun. All right, so since we know all the good benefits of doing that, let's look at some questions that we can ask ourselves as we read. For comprehension, we want to look at questions like, what will happen next? So as I read, I'll ask myself, what do I think is going to happen next in this story? I might also ask myself, how will this story end? How do I predict that'll happen? Why did the character do whatever? Hmm. What would I have done if I had been in that situation? What emotions could this character be feeling right now? And what images can I see in my head as I read? These questions will help me to understand, and they will also help me to analyze. That's the big to the little pieces. Well, if I want to go for that big brain power, dun dun dun, then I definitely need to have some higher order thinking questions. So these questions are going to help me. Now these are just stems. That means I'll have to fill in the part and then I'll have to answer them in order to have reached those higher levels of thinking. But the more you do this, the more naturally it will come. So here are some stems that I might use. What is the motive? What is driving that character to do that? How would I feel if this happened? Is blank a good thing or a bad thing? And why? What does the author believe? What do you think about something? Who will lose and who will gain in this? These questions, as well as the answers that you come up with for them, will give you da 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 big brain power! Well, congratulations. Now you know how to question not only to comprehend, but also in order to help you think and connect more with the world outside of just the text. Good job, and I'll see you in class. Don't forget to study for your vocabulary.